This is Magathy Bridge Road. Has a nice um, circular driveway, semi-circular driveway. If you notice, there's a fire hydrant right there, although it's listed as um, well and septic. So the siding in a couple of areas needs to be replaced. The HVAC seems pretty old. The back deck. Like I said, there's a big tree here where a lot of these limbs will need to be cut off away from the house. This is a big fenced yard. A lot of privacy trees. The neighbor's house next door it looks like they store a lot of stuff in their backyard, but the trees kind of make it private. And this is fenced all the way around. Um, the deck is in rough shape. I mean, you might be able to get away with power washing it, but it's pretty rough. I'm going to show also this a lot of technically over the house also, this tree. Um, for the most part, the windows need to be updated. Here you can see there's fog and there's like plastic. There's a nice big shed there. I went in that shed and um, the roof is leaking, so the roof needs to be replaced on it. You can see like mold or that white crystally stuff on the top of it. It is a nice shed. So I mean the siding, it really is just, I guess those couple of areas that need to be patched. There's like some other small areas by the front door. Okay. Some buyers here. Real quick. I like how thick the lot is. I got thick over there at the run. Okay. You guys want to flip around here? So the roof is older. You enter into a living room. I don't think the roof is leaking though, it just looks older. Living room kitchen addition and then there's bedrooms on the sides i mean the windows i guess are okay like the bay window i'm sure is fine it's like an older it's a wooden window dining area water that's the access panel right there to the bathroom kitchen cabinets actually aren't in bad shape um, there's some more dark brown. Maybe if you updated the hardware, that'd be okay. I'm trying to see if there's a light. Okay. Nope, just a fan. <laughs> Looks like a dark brown cabinet. It's kind of dark right now. It's all paneling. Let me see. None of the lights work. And that slider there is broken. That goes into the um, back deck. That is a wood burning fireplace straight ahead. I'm just going to try to maybe go to the basement first.
I'm just going to start in this corner. There's no waterproofing system. And when I was here on Friday, I'm seeing there's some water stuff along the way. That back corner there was wet on Friday. And here's the crack that goes all the way across. You can see it's like a slight bowing, really subtle. The crack is still pretty minor now, but it needs to be addressed. And over here is where it was puddling. So the electric panel is updated to 200 amps. Some of the wires are older though. Here you can see there used to be stairs here, but they moved them, I guess, to reconfigure the kitchen. So I guess on the plus side, it's already insulated. Oil heat. Gonna assume you need new HVAC. That's the water treatment system. Doesn't look that great. Well, that's the water pump, I guess. So I would just plan on needing a new water pump. All right, I'm gonna go back upstairs now. Again, just trying to show this crack. It's I get it's not that bad, but I just know in the future it's gonna keep getting worse, so it should be addressed since it goes all the way across. So this is the bedroom that got cut into in order to have the stairs be put here. It's literally like a cubby, an office space. Windows, I mean they are double pane windows. This one's broken with a BB. Not sure if they're working or not. Small bathroom. Then this bedroom was like 10 by 11. See a closet straight ahead. The electric is updated though. And then this is the master. No ceiling fan small closet and there's also the ductwork going through it okay